Okay guys, this is Rusty78609 and my Lasco fan stopped working yesterday. So I contacted, first of all I called them and they told me to send the fan back. But then I called again today, got somebody else on the phone, and they told me that it was still covered by warranty. It's got a one year warranty. I bought it at Walmart. I always keep my receipts. I paid uh, $24 for it. Big deal. I know it sounds like I'm a real cheapy, but I'm not. I mean, if the damn things don't work, I send them back. But anyway, the lady at Lasco told me that all you have to do is, of course, unplug your fan that doesn't work and take you a pair of scissors or whatever you've got and cut the power cord right where it joins the fan. Okay, what they're trying to do, they want to make sure you don't use this fan anymore. And what you do then is you just roll this little puppy up and put it in an envelope, the power cord, and then you send this, the power cord alone, not the fan, you send it to Lasco Products, and then you look on your little warranty book. You send it to Lasco Products. I say Lasco Products. You know, you should be prepared when you're doing a video, right? Right. Well, I'm sort of prepared. Anyway, you send it to Lasco Products. Here we go. Uh, you send it to Lasco Products, Customer Service Department, 820 Lincoln Avenue, West Chester, West Chester, two words, Pennsylvania, 19380. But you have to send this card in with the receipt, a copy of the receipt. Keep the original, send them the copy. A letter with your name, address, phone number, model number, which is on the front of your paperwork. A description of the problem and all you need to put there is just problem with speeds and then mail it first class with a tracking number so that way when you call them or contact them you can say well it was delivered on and here's the tracking number and they tell me that once they receive the card they will send you a new fan within you should have it within seven days after they receive this so assuming that it takes three days for them to get this, the, the card, then you're looking at a total of 10 days and you will have a fan. Now how much does it cost to send the card back? Well, if you have an envelope that this will fit in, there's the biggest part of it. As far as the first class mail, you're looking at about three to four bucks for the whole thing. So you get you a new fan for $4. So two tips here. One, keep your receipts. Two, Keep your warranties because I promise you uh, they will pay off. I guarantee you. I mean, I know I sound like an old Scrooge, but uh, if a pro I keep a pro keep all my receipts and all my little product warranties, and if something doesn't work, back it goes, baby. But anyway, having said that, my channel is Rusty78609. I do all kind of stuff, and uh, check it out. And uh, anyway, thumbs up to you guys. Adios, carpe diem, and bye-bye. And why do I do that? You'd have to check out one of my videos on the Colorado River in Texas. Because that's where I live in central Texas. And right now it's about 95 degrees. Hot, 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 hot. Anyway, if you got a bad product, keep the warranty, keep the receipt, and send it back to the dogs. Anyway, bye-bye. Adios.